So I'm with Ronak, who's the senior director of uh, retail at Tridens. So hi, Ronak. How has your experience been so far? At it's it. Uh, it's my first time at Cipher, and uh, I've been following Cipher for the last many years. But I'm my first opportunity to be here, and I'm very thrilled to be. Okay. And what was your session like, and what was the topic? Uh, so like topic uh, for the session today was test, launch, and scale. Yeah. Uh, the blueprint for breakthrough in AI. Essentially, coming up with frameworks on how do we ensure success yeah. for our teams in a such a dynamic environment, right? Because we are seeing change all across us, all around us. Yeah. So, what is it that we should come up with as a framework uh, so that our teams are successful? Can we succeed? So, uh, anything that you would like to share about Tradens and what are you working on at Tradens right now? So, we are an AI solutions company. Yeah, we have been there in the existence for close to thirteen years. I have been with Tradens for close to nine years or so. Yeah. Um, again, very fortunate to work with leaders in setting up foundational capabilities within the company. I have worn multiple hats, uh, but it was been great to witness this journey firsthand. Uh, when I joined, we were. In double digits, and we are up to thousands yeah. now. So it's, it's so it feels like a personal growth to see that scale and growth across geographies in both India, US, rest of North America, and Europe. Uh, uh, right now, I'm a part of the retail vertical. Yeah, and I have a PNL responsibility uh, of working with a Fortune 100 client, and my responsibilities is everything around growth. Uh, sales, business development in different areas of marketing analytics, customer supply chain, and so on. Setting up teams, learning and development, making sure they are set up for success. So everything that we need to do to make sure that our teams are successful for my account is what I'm responsible for. That's great. So I think your topic uh, was about breakthroughs in AI and how testing and scaling the products. So uh, was there any time when you thought that now AI is getting uh, the started and is getting the high? Was there any O O moment in AI at Trident Sir? I think um, a few years back, in fact, when we started to see some of these technologies actually being incorporated by the business to run some of their outputs. Right. So I remember we worked on a forecasting project, and and before that, forecasting used to be just a theoretical exercise. Right. One okay, this is what my sales are going to be. This is how much I should hear from the vendors and so on. And this was for a CPG company. So when we actually rolled out the results, when they took those results to actually implement it in their business on a day-to-day -day basis, the store managers using our results is when that stuck us. That this is in here for the long haul. It adds a huge amount of responsibility because who was it's just an algorithm. You a store manager, it decides that payouts, it decides the sales, and so on. So that was a big we're all. A good sense of aha moment, but uh, that was a turnaround number for me. Mm -hmm. And I think we were discussing about this earlier. So, what do you think is stopping Indian enterprises specifically from shipping their product from POCs to actually a product that they can offer? I just take this question to a notch higher that not just Indian enterprises globally also there's a little bit of a hesitation to deploy AI in full fledged business outcomes, and that's mostly because it's not been done. Right, so someone has to pioneer it and say that this is how we are doing it, uh, and hence the framework becomes even more important. How do you start small? Right, I don't have to say that take this framework and deploy it in all areas. I think that will not work. Yeah. How can you? How can we identify a business for a business function where I can deploy it? The risk is not so much, so that they at least get the confidence in the idea and the capability, and then you go from there to us. Another function and so on and so on. So it has to start smart. You have to first gain confidence of the stakeholders and the leaders to on the idea itself, and I think then you will get executive alignment and sponsorship to then roll it out in the national world. Okay. So if you have to summarize your session, I it was test, launch, and scale. So how, what advice would you give to the people who are working on AI? Well, I think the the biggest uh, advice what I have and which I mentioned in the slide also is for us to okay with failing, okay to take risk. Right? Uh, we are all risk averse by nature. We don't want to take risk, but if you have calculated a risk, if you are confident on the process, if your and your team skills and capabilities, take a smaller risk. It's okay. We take that plunge. Right? It's okay to be uncertain about what's happening in the future. But you should have the confidence and the alignment that it's all for the best. I'm not doing it for fun. It's not a science project. 
it's all about improving the business outcomes, and I think that is how we will get more traction on, on innovation and experimentation at AI uh, as a whole. Definitely. Okay. Yeah. So thank you so much, Anak, and I hope you interact with more people now. And yeah, yeah. And thank you so much. <laughs>